Hi there folks and welcome to the What Solutions for this week's The Daily Rigger, issue number 300. And on this milestone edition for us, um, we're going to start this week obviously with the very sad news that Queen Elizabeth II has died at the age of 96. Now this incredibly remarkable woman um, reigned over the United Kingdom um, for 70 years, 7 months and 2 days in total. So we have to work out on what date did Queen Elizabeth's reign begin. Well, first things first, we need to work out the date that she died, which was on Thursday. So for counting back, um, Thursday would have been the 8th of September 2022. So Queen Elizabeth II's reign began on, well what we could do first of all is take 70 years away from 2022. That would give us 1952. We can take seven months off of September, which would be 02, so February. And then we can take two days off the 8th to get the sixth, to get 06. So our reign began on the 6th of February, all the way back in 1952. And she um, gave her entire, um, she gave all of that time um, to public service. And for that, Your Majesty, we are all grateful. So on to our second story which is a sports story, and we've got uh, an English midfielder leaving in a world record for um, a transfer fee for a women's player. So Kira Walsh moved to um, Barcelona um, for the fee of 2 to the power of 7 multiplied by 5 to the power of 5. So can we work out what this transfer fee is? So 2 to the power of 7 means 2 multiplied by itself 7 times. And 5 to the power of 5 means 5 multiplied by itself 5 times. So you can either put this big long calculation into the calculator or you could have used a scientific function and put it in just like this. Either way you did it, you should have got an answer of £400,000 and we hope that Kira is a success in Barcelona. She actually got man of the match in the Germany game at the Euros so she's clearly getting a really big move on the back of that. Okay, so on to our entertainment story. So, Mr. Beast Burger sees thousands fill shopping centre. So, the top YouTuber Jimmy Donaldson, also known as Mr. Beast, is claiming to have sold a record number of burgers in one day. We'll maybe keep an eye on that and report on it later. But, um, whereas he's one of the um, top subscribed to content makers on YouTube, he was also the highest paid YouTuber in 2021, so last year. So can you name the other nine YouTubers? And we've given you some calculations to help you with their initials. So the second highest paid um, YouTuber, five times two is 10, that corresponds to J in the alphabet, and eight times two is 16, which corresponds to P in the alphabet. So can you figure out the name based on these initials? So it's Jake Paul, who is a boxer and blogger. So for number three, we've got 13, which is M, so a bit trickier now just being the one word. So that's Markiplier and he is a game creator. So for number four, we've got an R, we've got an A and we've got an L. So I wonder if you got that one. That's Rhett and Link who are the hosts of the Good Mythical Morning. So 3 times 7, 21, so that's you. So our next one is Unspeakable and that's a Minecraft player. So tricky one here, 6 take away negative 7 is actually 14, which is N. So that's Nast Nastia, um, who is a toy unboxer. So for number 7, we've got 18, which is R, and we've got 11, which is K. So that's Ryan Kaji, who is a toy reviewer. You've probably heard of him. So number 8, we've got D, and we've got P. So that's Dude Perfect, and they are comedy pranksters. So number 9, we've got L. And we've got P, so if you got number 2, you might get number 9. That's Logan Paul, Jake's brother. He again is a boxer and a vlogger. And lastly, number 10, we've got P and we've got A. Now, we can't actually read this name out fully. It's Preston A asterisk 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 meant. So you can kind of maybe work out what the missing letters stand for there. This is a family newspaper after all. Now, he is a Minecraft player. So I'm very well done if you get any of those questions right in the challenge. So for our last story for technology, Apple has now revealed the iPhone 14. And we're wanting to know is it cheaper to buy the iPhone 14 in the USA or the UK? 
So ones in dollars, ones in pounds. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to change the dollars into pounds. So to change back into pounds, we need to divide by the exchange rate. And because it's money, we'll run to two decimal places. So £688.79. So if we take them away from each other, that gives us a difference of £160.21. So it's cheaper to buy the iPhone 14 in the USA by £160.21. So that was our work solutions for issue number 300. Thanks a lot for all your support, guys, and helping us get to this milestone. So we'll hopefully see you for another 300 editions and beyond. But in the meantime, thanks for watching and bye for now.